Hello, uh, this is Vitaly Vinkovsky from Market Professor, and in this video I'll briefly describe my trading methodology. Uh, in fact, uh, today I'm going to share with you my uh, biggest secret of successful trading. Uh, I've learned this secret as a result of almost uh, 15 years of uh, trading financial markets. So are you ready to hear the holy grail of trading? I use uh, two simple rules. I buy when price goes up and I sell when price goes down. In other words, I believe in the power of momentum. No efficient market theory, no portfolio theory, no buy and hold uh, uh, stuff. Uh, it's all about momentum. I know it sounds uh, simple, but all genius is simple. I used to call tops and bottoms, played contrarian card. Now I'm just trying to be part of the herd and uh, follow the price wherever it leads me. And more importantly, these uh, simple rules allow me to position myself on the right side of the market. Now, some of you might ask, uh, so when exactly do you buy and sell? Uh, well, for those of you so-called uh, setup fanatics out there, I'm going to tell a heretic idea. It does not matter when exactly you buy, as long as you buy in uptrend, because the market will bail, bail out even the worst possible entry. Again, as long as you position yourself on the right side of the price action. This is actually a very important idea for those Puritans and perfectionists out there who fight over a tick to nail the perfect entry, over analyzing the details and missing fours behind the trees. I tell you what, I sometimes play this game with my students in my trading class. They tell me when to buy and sell the market in random order. And I show them that with the right exits, it's still possible to be quite profitable. In other words, exits are more important than entries. Now, having said that, let's get down to specifics of my, uh, of my, of my simple, simple rules. So rule, rule, rule number one, buy when price goes up. Uh, once I determine when the, when the market is in uptrend, I have two choices. One is to buy breakout, and second is buy pullback. I buy breakout when I see a strong uptrend because uh, that may be the only chance uh, not to miss the market action. Um, this is a little risky because uh, I need to increase my stop loss parameters. So that's why, you know, I like uh, uh, the, the B type of uh, uh, buying the, the, the uptrend, uh, which is buying the pullback. And this is uh, my personal favorite because it's uh, less risky. Um, sometimes I miss the opportunity, but um, I'd rather miss the opportunity than sit through some heat. And, uh, you know, rule two, obviously, uh, it's in downtrend. Uh, rules are in the reverse order. So yeah, I either sell breakdown or sell rally to downtrend channel. And the type B is my favorite, uh, my favorite way to play the, uh, the downtrends. All right, let's get a little more specific here. Um, I allocate ten, uh, about $10,000 for each contract of E-mini futures. I use 55 tick chart, and I use uptrend, downtrend channels, my proprietary indicator, as a framework of reference for price action. Here's an example. Uh, 
uh, from today, uh, Real Time Real Money Trading. It's um, January 11th, 2011, by the way. And um, uh, here, here as you can see, the trend is down, right? So I'm waiting for the price for the price to come uh, first, like between this uh, two lines. These are my, you know, this uh, yellow and blue line. The, these are my um, my trend channels. Um, so I actually was was able to to get filled here at this level and um, I usually trade in multiples of two contracts so my first half of my position was filled here for the one point profit and uh, the second half is usually I, I, I take a profit uh, with, with the new lows um, so that was one one trade and the second one was uh, it was setting up right here so uh, um, I also did the same thing. I, I I went for one. That was my one profit um, profit target, one point. On the first half, on the second half, it was uh, it was um, I, I broke even, and um, I um, yeah. One more thing I want to tell you. I I use a five points catastrophic stop loss. So let's say you know if I enter it here. Five points will be somewhere around this way, um, in this area. So, um, yeah, usually it's five stops. And if I see that the train goes not in my way, I uh, I try to get earlier. But you know, always I use a bracket orders with five stops uh, uh, loss, uh, stop loss order. So basically, my methodology don't go for the home run. Uh, take small but consistent daily profits, uh, and I'm always I'm always motivated that I don't have to catch the whole market move for the day, even the small small move like one point a day on average equals 100% annual profits. So one point is uh, yeah this is one point this is one point like. If you, you buy it here, you sell here. This is one point. Very small action. This is only two hours of action in the market. So, um, so all right. And the the goal is of, of of my trading is leave with a profit at the end of each trading day. Even if it's you know maybe half a point, um, or maybe ten point. That should be should be profitable every day doesn't happen this you know it could be a couple of days you know non-profitable at least that's that's the whole idea that's a whole uh that that's the goal to be profitable at the end of the day and and the end of of the week and the end of the month that's it i hope you find it helpful thanks thanks for listening